hello welcome to microsoft excel made easy so in today's video we'll be looking at how teachers can leverage on the use of microsoft excel to actually grade their students so easy students grading with excel using the nested if statement now the if function checks whether a condition is met and returns one value if true and another value if false before now we made a video on how the if function works basic if function you can go ahead to watch the video on the card up your screen above so as a teacher you can actually leverage the power of microsoft excel using the nested if function so on our screen here is a little table that shows us names of students the score as well as the grading so if you notice we already have a grading system for these guys let us go ahead to just clear this and delete this and you have the grade scale is so that for scores from 0 to 49 is pass from 50 to 79 is credit from 80 to 100 is high credit so how do you use microsoft excel if function to implement this so you start off with what equal to if all right before you watch this video make sure that you watch the video made on if function so that it will be easier for you to understand the logical test is if this cell is that okay is less than so this is less than 50 is okay so any number that is less than 50 is 49 below then comma the value if true is what it should show what pass and close your speech marks then for the value if false you start your second if function so in this case we'll be having just two if functions because we have three criteria <laughs> is that not super awesome so that's just a trick with working with if function because if you have four criteria you'll be needing three if to satisfy that particular argument so the logical test is still the same if this cell is less than 80 so anything less than 80 is from 79 below is all right comma issue output what credit right so close it with your speech mark else anything that is eventually above 80 should output what high credit so after we finish imputing our logical if functions we'll definitely test it out to see so we close the bracket this bracket that we just close is closing that of the second if now you have to still close the bracket to close that of the first if if you notice the brackets are actually distinguished by the colors is all right so this inner bracket is for this other if here so the outer bracket is for the outer if so you hit enter and you notice that this guy have what credit because his score is what 55 so you can drag down and you see the outcome all right so 77 is what credit now supposing you go ahead to model this data so that this guy eventually have what 45 and hit enter you notice that his grade now change it to what pass is that right so supposing you now go ahead to model this data to 90 this one changes to what higher credit so this is exactly how you can use the if function to grade your students is okay whatever grading scale you are using it works at all times now the second example that we're going to be looking at is a longer one is all right so this one will have one two three four five six grading scale is all right then eventually since we have six levels then definitely we'll have five if functions <laughs> it's so interesting but just follow us and we'll get to it so equal to if all right so if this cell in this case we have the subject is all right so this thing is not displaying well i don't know why so let me just format it accordingly so that everything is displayed so can i merge merge all right so everything is up now so equal to if then you select your if function the logical test is if this cell is less than 50 just like we did before now is that right 
comma, the value if true should be what? Pass. Is that right? So definitely you don't need to cram anything. Just understand what is happening within the flow. Then the value if first, you start the second if. If, okay. So if this same cell, that is cell E4, is less than what? Less than 60, definitely. Then the value if true will be what? Credit. All right? Comma. Then the value if false, you start here. The third if. Oh, sorry, I didn't close that up. So close that up. Then the value if false, you start your third if. So if. Now the thing is, when you're working with data like this, there are different ways of achieving the same result. So you can start from the lowest to highest or from the highest to lowest. So whichever way you start from, it will still give you the same answer. So if the logical test, if this cell, that is if for is less than 70, is that right? Comma, the value if true is what? B2. Why less than 70 is because anything less than 70 is from 69 below. Does that make sense? We can still make this statement such that is if it's less or equal to 69. That means 69 is included. That's why I say there are different ways of what attempting this question. So if if 4 is less than what? 70. So the value if true should be what? B2. Alright. Close it up. Then the value if first you start your what? Your fourth if. So if please make sure you observe the speech marks. So that I don't get error eventually. So our formula is getting longer now, but we are still on track. If you know what you are doing, you don't need to bother because you definitely get your answer. So if E4 is less than, the next one is what? 80. Remember, you use your grading key as a guide. So the value if true will be what? B1. Is that right? So B1. So B1 should be in speech marks. So you have to be very careful to get the first one right. Else you will notice that you get errors and all that. So then the value if false, you start your, this is a fifth if, right? So you start your fifth if. So which eventually is the last one. So if you select the logical test, which is if this is less than, 90 is okay comma then the value if true is what a1 close it up comma then the value if false is the last criteria so anything that is less than 50 anything that is less than 60 anything that is less than 70 anything that is less than 80 anything that is less than 90 must be from 90 and 100 which is a star so open type in your a and your star then close it up then you now close up your several brackets so in this case you notice that we have how many brackets here so these brackets one two three four so you have four brackets to close is that right so i close up just notice how excel closes it up for me one bracket two bracket as the color changes the third bracket is okay the fourth bracket and finally the last bracket you now go ahead to hit enter <laughs> so this is your students grade how exciting can that be now because you've actually preformatted this data as a table excel automatically fills it up for you now let us manually look at it and see if we are actually wrong so this student scored 84 in art and his grade is what a1 so you notice that for numbers between 80 and 89 is what a1 so for 74 this is 74 and the score is what b1 so 74 falls be between within this range is all right so a star is 92 which satisfies this this 45 which satisfies pass so you have b2 is 66 which is between 60. so do you see how we will to so do you see how we will to get the students grade using the nested if function so don't be so overwhelmed when you see the formula so length like this 
but just understand what is happening. If you understand what is happening, you can definitely produce any form of nested if function for students grade as much as possible. Hope you got value in this video. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead to support our channel by subscribing to our YouTube channel. Also like and share this video. Turn on the bell notification icon to be the first to get notified when we drop videos like this. Also, if you have suggestions or video of topics we should make video on, you can drop it in the comment section below and we'll work towards that. Go ahead to watch the video on your screen that shows you how to use the Microsoft Excel logical function if function in case you have not done so. Excel made easy.